Hello everyone and welcome to rchelp.com. I'm Tony and today we're going to be working on the AR 7200BX. Finally, we're getting to the 7200BX. Now in today's video, we're going to be updating the firmware. Now right now I'm running 3.1.0 and I want to update to the 4.0.14. Now 4.0.14 actually has a Nitro Governor built into it, which, you know, I've got my 600 sitting down here. I'm probably not going to put it on there because I've got an icon on that one. But I want to show you guys how to update it, and I may put it on there and show you guys how to set up the governor. But in today's video, it's all about updating the firmware. Now to update your firmware, you're going to need to get the little USB drive for it. Basically, this allows you to connect your computer to your gyro. Like I said, 25 bucks, but it's the only way to update your firmware. Go out and buy one. When you do, your cord is going to be longer than this. Your cord is going to be enormously long. And mine, I got one. I do have one something happened to the end of it and it got broke and I can no longer plug it in. I don't know what happened. So I might get a crimper, get some ends and crimp a new end on it. Not a big deal, but it's just, it's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so how do you update the firmware on an AR7200 BX? Well, like I said, first you gotta get this little guy. Then all you gotta do is you plug it into this first port. It'll say DAT on it or data. Make sure your white wire is facing the label or pointing up. Make sure your ESC is connected to the gyro. All right, once you got that plugged in, now we just need to plug the helicopter in because it does need power. It doesn't get power from your computer. Go ahead and plug that in. And as you can see, that light will start cycling back and forth, back and forth, doing kind of a Knight Rider thing. And basically that's just saying that it doesn't have a bind. I don't have my radio on right now. It's not even bound to the system yet. Then we need to plug this in. But before we plug it in, we need to download the software and we need to download the drivers. All right, so as you can see here, I'm on ar7200bx.beastx.com. Now in here, you want to go down here to Studio X for Mac or Windows. It doesn't matter which one you use, but you're gonna to have to download one of them. Once you download it, go ahead and run it and it's gonna bring up a little page that looks something like this. But it's gonna tell you that you needed to install a driver in order for all this to work because this little 3030 is not going to work, which is a USB dongle. It's not going to work until you install this driver. Now your driver is going to be CP210X underscore VCP underscore Windows or Mac if you're using a Mac. In here, I've got a 64-bit system, so I installed this one. Now if you've got a 32-bit system, click on x86. You just want to go ahead and double click, click run, and then go through the process here. You know, agree to the agreement and then it'll say silicon laboratories, blah, 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 ready to, ready to use. So we can go ahead and click out of that and click out of that. Now we're into this. All right, so now that you have Studio X installed on your computer and you have the driver installed, now all you gotta do is just plug this in. I've got to scoot my helicopter over because I got that short little cable. All right, go ahead and just plug it in. As you can see here, it brings up all your information about your gyro. Firmware update available, which means there is a firmware update. To update your AR2700BX, please switch to the update firmware tab. You can click here or you can go here. Just to prove that, there you go. All right, now to obtain the latest firmware for your AR7200BX, please follow this link. Now, I've already got that link open in Chrome here. And as you can see, you get to go in and you get to choose which one you want. You got 4.0.14, which uh, is the latest with Nitro Governor, or 3.1.0, which is what mine is on right now. We'll go back into Studio X here. And the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get your serial number. So we'll just copy that, hit Control C, copy it. Go back over here, and we'll put our serial number in. Then you're going to need to go down here, and it says mailing address, but you want to put in your email address. Once you have your email address in there, all you'll do is click submit. Thank you for your request. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna send you an email and in that email is gonna be a file that you download. Once you have the file downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to locate that file. Right now I've got it in AR7200BX files, which is on my desktop. All right, once you have your file located and you know where it is, we'll go back over to this page, update firmware, update from file, then you have to find your file. Like I say, mine's on my desktop. All right, once you've found your file, all you'll do 
Double click that. Are you sure you want to update to 4014? All data on your device will be erased. Use a restore point to restore your device after this update. I don't have anything that I want to keep. This is going to be for a completely different helicopter, so I'll click yes. Now all this is in real time. I'm not speeding this up at all. All right, looks like everything's done. Well, the beast X is restarting. Now we have a governor setup tab up here. From 3.1 to 4.0, you added a governor into it. We'll go over here to device and information, 401481 and 2.0. As you can see, it no longer says that there's an update available. Now, the biggest difference in here is this governor setup menu. You know, you either got off or on. Your sensor test mode, each time the RPM sensor is triggered, a status LED will turn red, indicating that the sensor is detecting crankshaft rotation. Once we put this on a nitro, we'll be able to go through this step by step and set each one of these. All right, everyone, so there you go. That is how simple it is to update the firmware in your AR7200BX. Now below this video is a link to an article on the forum where you can come in, you can post your comments, and I encourage you guys to come in, post suggestions on the videos that you want to see on this gyro. There's going to be a lot of them. I look forward to seeing you guys on the forum. I want to thank everyone for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.